All right, so this time through, I'm uh, going to build a, basically a brick wall, stack of shapes. What I'm going to do is rescale this one cube in the center so that it, it looks like a brick. Now, bricks tend to have this particular ratio in terms of what they are. So I'm going to scale in the X direction, just bring it in a little bit so that the Y direction length is double that of the X and then scale in the Z direction to oops scale in the Z direction to bring it in now what I just realized then is that and that looks like roughly like a brick when you're doing scaling operations it's just a little trick to keep an eye on the further you are from the center of the object the little yellow dot orange dot the the effect of the scaling has so if I give you an example here further away it's a fairly nice little ratio but if I go right in close to that dot it has a fairly big effect so if you want to scale things up and make them really huge then get a little closer and bring them up away if you want to scale things with a bit of precision then move away from the object hit that scale key and slide it in that in the appropriate direction now what I didn't mention is that like grab scale also has um, X Y and Z directions which you know you just S for scale XYZ for whichever way you want to scale it and that sort of stuff so here we have a base brick and all I need to do now is make a whole heap of them but because I've done this the standard add I'm going to be adding cubes and they have to rescale it and resize it which is a real pain so I'm going to go duplicate so I've got my object selected and I should be able to duplicate the objects and you can see here shift D now shift D sorry alt D is linked objects the difference between the two is that if you duplicate an object it will make a duplicate and that's a unique object if you duplicate linked it means you can go back into the original brick and modify it so yeah I'll go with linked in this case to give you the example and you can see here it's now floating anywhere and I'll just go Y to lock it to the Y direction so that it's roughly the right spot and that looks pretty good <coughs> And then I'm going to hold down Shift and select the second brick. Uh, then Alt-D to duplicate again. Y in the Y direction, shuffle it along. Uh, grab Y direction just to move it a little further so it's roughly spaced the same. And then select all four bricks. And then Alt-D to duplicate. Y for the Y direction. What you'll notice is a bit of a graphical glitching happening as the two bricks slide across one another. That's a good indicator that two objects are occupying the same space and it's worth noting because when you do in, get into other projects you'll see that happen and sometimes when things overlap it's a good way to identify to go oh wait there's a glitch there I better go fix it especially if you got accidentally duplicated the same object and sits in that same space and you haven't noticed. So here I'm again going to duplicate, so Alt-D, uh, but this time I'm going to go into the Z direction and bring it up about one row, and as you know, bricks are always half set across, you've seen a brick wall, you can see that it's done like that, and this is where I get into cheating again, so I'm just going to select that whole stack, I'm going to Alt-Duplicate, Z direction, shuffle it up. And here what I'm basically doing is a fairly bog standard brick wall. So duplicate again, Z direction, and that should be about enough. This could be the background to a scene or just whatever you, you feel like. And inadvertently I've duplicated three lights as well. So I'm just going to select those two of those, X to delete the top two lights, and they've now gone. Now if I look through the camera here, it's sitting a little low. So I have two options, either move the camera like I did in the last tutorial, or grab all these bricks and scale them. So scaling, yes it scales as an object, so I want to look through the um, camera as I'm doing this, so zero to look through the camera, and scale in, I'll scale it in, but of course it's now out of place. Um, Control Z to undo, so we'll just try scaling it again. That should be okay. Then grab and drop it into the middle of the scene. It's a little low, so uh, grab, put it around center. That should be good. Check the camera angle again. Grab, Y direction, pull it back a bit. 
then when we uh, take a photograph of this, we should have a brick wall illuminated appropriately. The last thing I want to add to this is really just a, a ground plane. Um, so I'm going to just shift A to add a plane. And this basically will be what the scene sits on. And I can scale this up to make it look like a patch of ground. Easy. F12 to photograph it again. No, it's just gone back. Oh, yes, it's done it again. And you can see it hovering a little bit. I'm not too fast about that. But what I really need is the brick example. So uh, brick wall is my third example. Or second example. Third example will be coming up. Uh, close this off. And that's now done. If you are happy with your work, please make sure you save your working file. I didn't mention it last time, and I should have, but here it is. So, again, I'm just dumping this on the desktop, so my sample of a brick wall. Uh, it saves as a .blend file. Basically, that's what the, the working file that Blender uses, and it allows us to get back into this stuff to then go through and modify it later.